Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Okay, here comes the next stack. There it goes. Oh, uh, oh, it did it. Okay, it did it. Oh, that is crazy looking. Oh, why did it not? It didn't turn though. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Trax, the train set game. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today we're going to be adding some more to our map. And I think we're going to be doing some, uh, we're going to call them some really odd stunts that I saw that you could do here in Trax. So first, let's go ahead and start off with what happened last episode. Now, last episode, we did cover the, uh, the new update, which includes cars, planes and helicopters over here and we created a little airport now i also told you guys to give me a name for the airport and we're gonna go ahead and reveal that now so the top rated comment for names was the air burger airport so that's what we're gonna call it pretty cool stuff so if you missed that episode i will flash it in the top right corner but we need to go over what we're gonna do here today. So today, I'm thinking we're gonna start off with a build and then we'll move into some stunt stuff. Now, everybody's been commenting and saying, you have this massive train world, but you do not have a train depot, which admittedly, it's a little weird because we really can only play with one train at a time, so having a depot is a little odd, but I think I can devote an area to a depot here and we're gonna do that today so if you guys have any suggestions for future tracks episodes comment below and if you're enjoying tracks on the channel maybe hit that thumbs up button it helps out my channel and let's do this all right so as far as where the train depot is gonna be I'm thinking you know I was trying to figure out what I was gonna do with this area in between like the main like the city uh, you've got the farm area and the coastal town over here and we have this nice blank area now at first I was like you know we're just gonna have this uh, turn into just like a forest but I do think we could put like a depot over here so it's not too far away from the big city not too far away from the airport and Komodoville so I think that's what we're going to do here today. So the depot, let's go ahead. Hmm. We should probably do this with a, a little round table or a roundabout, whatever they call them. I think it's a round table, actually. Uh, maybe we'll do it with that. I'm not really sure how we want to accomplish this. Uh, it's going to be a little awkward. We need to make a turn off and we need to basically make a loop here. So let's go ahead. If the traffic's going this way, trains go in this direction, we'll need to make a turn off here. So that would work. And then, oh, I don't want to delete everything. So let's clear that. And then over here, we need a way to get around to this side. So maybe we'll do like a little loop or in like a little bridge. So say if we're going this way, we'll be able to go boom, boom. Let's go ahead and loop and almost like an overpass. So there we go. All right, so that's how we get... Actually, let's go ahead and make that bridge look even. Uh, one more. There we go. Actually, one, one too many. There we go. All right, so we got it to where we can get to each side of the track. Now, for a depot... Keep hitting the delete button here. So, for a depot, we're going to need to have several lines of track, and I'll need to make it to where you would be loading and connecting trains. It's going to be a little bit tricky, but I, I have a couple ideas here. You know, I should probably quit calling this a depot and call it a train yard because that's what it is. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be creating several areas and you're going to see several uh, branches of track like this. And this will be for sorting out the train cars and maybe storage for some of the engines. I really wish in this game we could have multiple uh, trains. That would be very, very awesome. But... Unfortunately, we can't yet. Uh, that would be just cool just to have several just running constantly. So as we're building here, you would see like a, maybe a passenger train go by and we can have the cargo trains and stuff like that. All right, so we got that. And we're going to do basically the same thing on this side. And then we'll have a little uh, cross section in the back. Keep thinking I'm going to use a turntable and I know I need one in here somewhere. I'll debate where I'm going to use that. All right, so we have some storage areas here for trains. Now we need a way to get to a workshop. I don't know how I want to do that yet. So say if you, you would come in from this side if you're coming in this direction, and if you're coming from this direction, you would come into here. So you should be able to park the trains. You should be able to go around this to get back out of the uh, the depot if you need to. 
But we need a turn off or we need something for a workshop. I think at the end of the storage areas, maybe we'll make everything. This is going to be awkward to do. Let's go. Let's see if I can do this. Let's go out this way. So we need to go actually out here and we're going to route this over here. Ah, nope. Do it like that. There we go. And then we would want to do the same thing. Repeat it. Actually, we're gonna have to do this different. Let's go ahead and go all the way down here. All right, so we're gonna make a workshop down here. All right, so we're using the little stoppers here in places that we don't need to go. So I've made this to where we can route around to a workshop. Now question is, what is our workshop gonna be? You know what, I think storage, this is gonna be just storage over here for trains. So we're gonna put buffer stops at the ends of each of these, there we go. All right, so I think we got our layout almost done for the train yard. I do want to utilize a turntable somewhere, but I'm not really sure I'm going to do that. All right, so I think I have a general layout. I know I said it, it was done before, but I believe it actually is done now. So we got a workshop. We got platforms in here for maintenance. Uh, I'm going to fence this whole area in and decorate it. We've got several, I would guess we'll call them like storage or parking platforms or parking tracks. You've got some out this way. And you've got some over here. We did finally utilize a uh, turntable uh, right here, which we need to probably add. Can I add a buffer stop to the end of that? I'm not really sure if I can or can't. I believe I can, yeah. So I'll add one over there because that's not going to go anywhere. So I'm going to fence this area in. I'm going to decorate it, put some trees in, maybe add some buildings, some workers. But as always in our tracks episode, I need a name for the train yard. And up. Oh, Nope, we don't want to have that as the name. We just want to have it blank. And we're going to stick it... Probably need two, or we could stick it in the middle here. Maybe we'll stick it right here. So we'll do that. I'm going to decorate this real quick. And then we'll kind of see what the finished product is. And we're actually going to drive some trains around it. Uh, just to see how it functions and see if we need to change anything about the train yard. Alright, so we got a bit of a train yard set up here now. So I've got some uh, parking out here. You can see this is where the workers would park. Uh, we've already gone over kind of the track set up here. Added some buildings, radio tower. We kind of uh, actually pretty much closed off the area. I didn't completely fence it in because we do have the cliff here, uh, which separates the little coastal section. So we have that, and I think... This actually looks pretty good. So we need to simulate going into this thing. Let's go ahead and we're gonna get, actually we need some workers real quick. Let's go and find those. All right, you guys are gonna stack up over there. Uh, are you gonna go to that station? Do we need to be, okay, there they go. All right, so they're gonna go there. And we'll just get, uh, we'll get all the groups here. So we could be taking these uh, workers around the map uh, to get to the various jobs. Maybe we'll do like an under construction set of uh, rails somewheres. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's get one more group here. There we go. And let's put them, put them over here. There we go. All right. So we're good to go now. So we're going to come in from the right direction. So let's go ahead and hold that to the left there. We're going to take the bridge. So we'll go boom. There we go. We're going to go over here and let's slow it down a bit because we got to sort our way through the train yard. There's several ways to work this. So we can go park the train. Uh, we can go to the workshop. We can actually, I think I need a turntable on this side. No, actually I don't because we can take a right right here. So let's go ahead and we're going to take a right here. So we'll go through here. Uh, we can load up on supplies if we need it. This will swing us around. We're going to go left here, so we can go pick up these passengers here at the train yard. So let's go ahead and start to slow down here. Hit the brakes. All aboard. All right, hit the brakes. Let's watch everybody get on. Oh, no, no, no. Complete stop. Complete stop. All right, everybody's loading up in the back. So we got the rail workers ready to go here. We might go take them to the big city or something. So we can come around in this direction. So we can take a left here to head back out on the bridge. Or we can keep going here, and this loop is going to take us on the other part of the tracks. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, we could park the train over there. I guess we could have loaded up on some cargo. Uh, we'd have to circle out. This is where we probably need one more U-turn to go back into the train yard. So we'll come out like this, and actually we're going to be heading towards Sandy Shores now, or the farm area. So there we go. We shipped out of there. This is actually kind of fun. 
I need to uh, I need to drive trains more often. I know people always ask, like, hey, you don't drive the trains enough. All right, so we're actually going to go up to the farm area right now, and I can loop around to get to Sandy Shores from here. So we're going a little bit of a, a leisure, I guess, ride, we're going to call it. So we're going through the farms here. Pretty cool stuff. There's the windmills. Uh, about to cross the river here. It's been a while since we've done this, so we might as well go ahead and take a nice little ride. Here we go over the river. Everybody's still loaded up. I think we got a station coming up here on the uh, right side. Actually, we should be able to collect from here. Is that a deposit or a collector? I think this might be a deposit. Yeah, we won't be able to collect anything from here. So, do we want to drop off some people here at this station? You know what? Actually, we should probably be moving. Let's keep moving. We might go into Komodoville here. All right, let's keep moving. All right, we can go. I think this takes us to the station. So here we go through the tunnel, and we should shoot out at the train station. All right, we're at the train station now. So this will take us all the way. Oh, oh no, no, no. Okay, that's where a buffer stop needs to be. <laughs> Okay, actually does a buffer stop. Can we actually complete that now? Can we route that? Oh, we can route that back out to the main line, can't we? Sweet, so that'll correct a little bit of an issue that I had. Oh, the train's in the way. All right, so we've corrected that piece of track. I didn't want a uh, buffer stop out that way, so there we go. Let's all connect it now. All right, so that is the train yard. We do need a name, so comment below what you think that name's going to be. Uh, and if you think we need to add anything to it, let me know also. I think we've got a pretty decent setup here. Plus, it just looks awesome because this area really needed it. It's kind of cool because it's kind of like by the big city over here and stuff like that. All right, so let's go out to the stunt track real quick. Uh, it has been forever since we've added anything to this stunt course. I'm kind of curious with some of the changes that the game's gone through. Has the stunt course changed? There was a couple quirky areas uh, that might not have worked as well as I wanted it to. We probably need to run the train through here again. But I've learned of something new. I was looking at the, uh, the track's Twitter feed the other day. And I did not realize that you can get the train to ride itself. And I know that sounds a little weird. Uh, what I'm saying is you can get the train to loop around and jump. And if there's still carts coming, you can land the train on its own carts and let it keep going. So we got to have a little section here in the stunt track that does that. Now, question is, where did the stunt... Actually, no, the stunt track... This is not the stop of it over here. This is where we were heading somewhere else. I'd like to add it to the pre-existing stunt track. So let me see where we're going to stick this. All right, that's where the stunt track led out at. So we would hop down here. That's why this is down here. Okay, so we're going to do a, a new little loop here. So we're going to go... Actually, no, it needs to be in the other direction. There we go. All right, so let's go out this way. And we're going to head back and kind of keep it all in the same area here. So, my question is, can we stack this? I don't know if we can or can't. All right, so in order to make this work, and I'm trying to see if I can stack this, we're going to make a little rise here. And then what it's going to do, it's going to go over to the right here. And it's going to basically just loop around. Now, you have to have a very, very long train for this to work. So what we're going to do, we're going to go around like this, and we're going to go up. So I don't want to go up. Let's go up two here. All right, so we would stop there, and that's where it would land on itself. Now, question is, can we continue this trend with a long enough train? So in theory, we would want to be in the next set of tracks. Let's go and go. This is going to look weird at first. I'm going to have to actually delete tracks to make this work. Will it hook back on and be able to continue to go is the question. So let's just set up a test here. So we've got that. Now what I need to do, I need to actually delete here, 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 and here. So the idea is the train's going to go under, go over this, come around, and there's still going to be carts coming because it's going to be an extremely long train. So it's going to land on itself, ride on itself long enough to hop up onto this section of tracks. Now that's where I don't know if this is possible or not. All right, it's time to run a test. Hopefully this works. It's trying to spawn in all the cars that we just uh, spawned in. Oh, that's a mess. All right, let's go ahead and start rolling. So it should turn us here. So we want to go to the right. And boy, I hope this works. So let's go boom. There we go. All right, let's get out of this camera view here. 
All right, here it goes. Question is, is this gonna work? Will it be able to hop back up on the tracks? So it's going, I might need some boosters uh, to make that jump. Actually, there shouldn't be track right there. There we go. All right, so it's gonna go boom, and it lands on itself, and will it go back up this? Oh, it will. Oh, boy. All right, that does work. This is gonna be cool. All right, so let's go ahead and put the train away. And I got a little bit of building to do here on the slip. You know what? Let's just say goodbye to the train. Bye, train. There's still passengers on that, by the way. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, so we have a bit of a stun here. So there are several gaps in this track that the train is going to have to ride on itself. And I don't think this is going to work, but I hope that this works. I think I might have thought this through. I'm not really sure, but it does have a grand finale of running through these, which I have a plan for these. One day, we're going to see how many of these little block things we can spawn in. Actually, we probably won't do it on this map. We'll probably have to do a separate little stunt area, but I would like to do that. Now, question is, is our current train long enough for this stunt? Let's go ahead and keep adding. Let's add some more to it. It's going to be fun. It's going to make sure it doesn't roll too far here because I need to be able to take that turn. There we go. Keep spawning. All right, we're going to see if this is enough here. Is this enough to do the stunt? Let's hope so. So let's go ahead and get moving here. All right, and we're going to turn right as a long train. All right, so there we go. Stunt is initiated, so it's going to continue through. Oh, boy. Question is, is this going to work? I think it's going to work to an extent, but I don't know if I confuse myself with the track placement here. So, this is going to do... Okay, it's going to go up. It's going to ride itself here. It's going to go over here. Turn around. Uh, this might not be long enough. This looks crazy. Now, it should ride itself. Oh, okay. That's, that's a bit of an issue. Okay, I see the error of my ways here. All right, so let's go ahead and reset the train. I got an idea. All right, I think I've fixed the issue here. I've kind of changed up a couple little elevation points. Oh, I don't want to be uh, building anymore on this. There we go. All right, so here it comes. It's a little laggy on the train, but not too bad. So many carts on that. All right, so here we go. The longest train. Let's see if we can keep this moving here. Okay, so it's going to go up here. And it should come back down. This is where I think I might have another issue. So, look at that. Triple stack. Triple stack the train. Oh, it's going to loop itself. Oh, it's still riding itself and speeding up. Okay, that's another issue. That is crazy looking. All right, going for another run. I think maybe... It's like trial and error right now. I really would like to see this thing get to the end. So, here it comes around. It's going to start stacking. It actually did a triple stack there for a bit. So there's the double stack. All right, it's going to come back around. And this next section should allow it to continue, I think. Okay, here comes the next stack. There it goes. Uh, oh, it did it. Okay, it did it. Oh, that is crazy looking. Oh, why did it not? It didn't turn, though. Oh, I wonder if we have to extend this section out. That is amazing still. All right, we're going to make this work, folks. This is going to be a thing. All right, once again, maybe I have the issue fixed. I don't know why it was going off the tracks right in this turn, but I extended it out so it should have time to touch the tracks again. So here we go. Stack one. It's going to come around and do the triple stacker, which is very amazing looking. So here we go. Triple stacks coming up now. All right, so it should hop up. Now, will it be on this track is the question. Come on, turn. Oh, it did it. It's doing it. Oh, is the whole train going to make it? Oh, that's cool. So it should come down. Now, question is, oh, that's a problem. The train's still not long enough. There should be an, a still trains coming through here. So we figured this out. Either we're going to have to build a bridge here to make it go to the finale, or we're going to have to make an even bigger train, which I think that might be the case. Okay, so we have an even bigger train. I have to actually back this thing up in order to get it to spawn right. So we're backing up right here. We're about to take this uh, this right. And I'm hoping that this is going to be long enough. I think we're about at the limit in the game for the longest train. So longest toy train versus stunt course. Let's go ahead and do this. Here we go. We're going to take a right. There we go. We're on the loop. All right. And that thing's still unfolding there. That is crazy. Okay, that's the train size. 
Oh, I think we might have enough this time. I'm hoping we do. So here it goes. All right, so train's gonna move up here. I need train cars to be coming through here still once the train gets around. So it's about to do its triple stack. Ooh, this is gonna be close. We still not, we might need a bigger train. I don't know, Han, here we go. Uh, it's gonna be really close. It just gotta, it's gotta hit a couple cards. That's all it's gotta catch here. Come on, come on, do it. It's gonna do it. I think it's gonna do it. Yeah, there it goes. It did it. Yes, and here comes the grand finale. Boom. <laughs> we did it, folks. That was absolutely amazing. And there goes the train. It's still just a trucking. Yeah, as soon as the, the front engine hits that, see, like, they're gliding through this now. Like, it'll continue to go. So, we did it, folks. That was very satisfying to see. But anyways, I think it's going to wrap it up for this episode of Trax. This was a fun episode. We are going to play with these destructible blocks again. Uh, maybe we'll try it on this map. I would like to flood one of the cities with them. Like, do like an avalanche and make it caused by the train or make it launch down into the city. So maybe we'll do that next episode. But if you guys have any suggestions for new parts and tracks, I don't know why the game's lagging really hard now. Something happened. <laughs> but yeah, we'll uh, see what we can add here. Don't forget to name the train yard. And we will see you guys next time on Tracks.